Welcome back to Golf Weekly. Uh, of course, we've already met uh, Mr. Keith Bach with the Island Golf School. What you may not know about Keith is that he has a sister company that he is also founder and owner of called the JPGA, which is the Junior Players Golf Academy. Yes. Yes. Uh, Keith, I'm going to let you explain just real briefly uh, what that is, how you got started, and uh, where you are today. Sure. The Junior Players Golf Academy is a full-time academy where we have students from all over the world. They come in from all different parts, Nigeria, Korea, Japan, um, the United Kingdom, a lot of um, South America countries and as well as the United States. So we have about 50-50 from international to U.S. Um, students and they go to Hilton Head Prep in the, during the day and um, they train at Palmetto Hall and we have um, a campus that's on Beach City Road where they live in four bedroom four and a half bath houses and um, they play and compete in tournaments in the southeast on the Hurricane Junior Golf Tour and one of our students just played in the uh, Junior Heritage which was two weeks ago at uh, Harbor Town um, but several years ago, I was uh, running a junior golf tour called the Future Collegians World Tour. I remember that. And in that time, I did my research uh, with talking with parents and coaches and students that were attending different various academies in the southeast. And, um, you know, a lot of their feedback was we're, we're not getting a, enough um, limited student to teacher ratio. And a lot of these schools are real big and massive in student size. and. Um, so I created more of an all-inclusive, smaller niche, like a boutique academy, um, focusing more on the quality rather than the quantity of students. So we have a limited student to teacher ratio, which is four to one. So we have 20 students currently now enrolled in the academy where we have five coaches working with those 20 students. Five coaches. And on that uh, topic, you actually have one of your star coaches with us today. Stephen Thompson. Yeah, yeah. great coach from Canada. Uh, we're happy to have him, and he works with the students each day, and he also is very instrumental in college placement. So he works with each student um, that is either a graduating or is a post-grad and helps him with the college placement. So very glad to have him. Well, Stephen, it's great to have you here with us. Perfect. Thank you for uh, having me. Yeah. Uh, why don't you uh, tell our viewers a little bit about what a day-to-day uh, schedule is for you and working with these young men and right. helping them grow their golf games. Yeah, perfect. Well, the students go to, to school in the morning at Hilton Head Prep, and then about 2.30 uh, they get dropped off right at Palmetto Hall where our facility is, and we, uh, we start right away with a nice big group stretch, which is very important, especially for the average golfer um, getting ready for every round. You should have a nice group stretch, and then we really break it into you know full swing, short game, putting, on course, a lot of course management, a lot of playing, and that's our students have really developed that uh, formula, and our students have really started to, you know, take for it and really get some wins here lately. Especially this past weekend up at uh, Kiowa, at the Cougar Point, um, we had three students come first, second, third, and the older boys, wow. Charlie Spencer White, uh, shot at four under par, 70-70 in the uh, older boys and won that wow. and we also had the second place uh, Ewan Ferguson he uh, finished uh, a couple shots back and then Tokes Pedro also finished third just a couple shots back but uh, and we also had uh, the winner of the younger girls and second place in the younger girls as well and you know it's the wind chill was 30 degrees on Saturday <laughs> up there at Cougar Point with that wind that was blowing I mean that two under par was phenomenal well, and anybody that's yeah. ever played golf in the Kiowa Island area knows sure. wind at Kiowa is it's bad without the chill. That's right. Uh, but to sh shooting under par in those conditions? In two rounds, yeah. yeah. Both rounds he shot 70, 70, two under. That's incredibly impressive. Amazing. So I'm, I'm, I'm sure now, now what do you do uh, with that kind of success? Obviously, confidence is high. Absolutely. Uh, you know, with those kids. So... Where do you go from here? What, what, what kind of things do you take from those lessons, from that success in building as you continue forward? You know, we really just focus on the process. You know, we don't have that win by Friday mentality. We're always building and learning. So, you know, our students are able to utilize playing different games, you know, at Palmetto Hall and all the Heritage Golf Courses. We have great practice facilities. So especially at Palmetto Hall, where we are on day-to-day -day operation, we have a great short game facility and short game, you know, growing as a student, 
you know, is the most important aspect. So we have a lot of challenges. Kids are playing competitions against each other, and I think that's really starting to pay off, as well as, you know, our students are really focusing on their uh, fitness with the TPI program. Um, which for the average golfer is great too because I think that's what really helped our students win because you know in the cold weather they were able to stay loose and you know their bodies can still react the way they want them to throughout right. tough conditions and you know we're just getting stronger and you know just trying to have fun and keep getting better every day. That's our... How many hours a day are these kids practicing on the range and actually playing? Yeah we have uh, instruction for four hours every day Monday through Friday plus unlimited as, uh, access on the weekend to all the Heritage Golf Courses, which is so important. You know, a lot of the students will, you know, get a couple of their friends at the academy or even other kids as well and say, okay, we're going to go play at Oyster Reef today or mm -hmm. Shipyard tomorrow, and they have a lot of challenges and matches amongst the kids, and it's great, uh, especially having all the access to the courses. And I think that's really helped our students, you know, develop. When they go to different courses, they're able to have a little more experience playing different greens, different types of bunkers, mm -hmm. different types of fairways. So. What's nice is they can literally ride their bike from the campus right down the Palmetto Hall on the bike path. Everything's so accessible. So it's beautiful to see them ride, this, ride their bike down the street to go play golf. Well, you guys have built quite a program, and it's very exciting to have junior golf not only here on the island, but thriving at such a high level, such a high successful level. We've got to take a quick break once more. Please come back and join us uh, for our last segment on Golf Weekly.